everyone welcome back to my channel so we're gonna sage your cards and then we're gonna jump into some messages and see what the universe wants you to know um what I can say is that I feel a lot of you are going through some deep stuff right now I don't know what 2024 has bought in okay but it's some sort of storm chaos drama because everybody is going through something. And the reason why I know everybody or most people are going through something is because people are reaching out to me like constantly, like what is going on? So I don't know if it's an eclipse that's causing this, that's coming in. Um, I know something in Saturn. I don't have it down uh, packed. So I don't know like exactly what it is. And I apologize that I don't have that. And I spoke about it, but there's something going on. Um, I saw it in the cards. I've been actually feeling it in my own energy. So we're going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about it. I just wanted to sage you guys' cards out. And then let's just see what's going on here. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know? All right, so we have surviving. So this is a card that I saw in your pre-shuffle a lot. Barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck, burnout is knocking on your door. Some of you feel like, you know, you try to save, but as much of you as you try to save, there's um, something that you have to spend your money on. Okay, so you may feel like you have limited resources right now. You feel like you can't hang on to money no matter how hard you try. Yep, you feel like you're a workaholic. There's definitely some changes coming in here because we have the workaholic and the chameleon. Get your life back into balance. Whether it's working too much or too much play, get clear on your priorities. And then we have, you have the ability to mold and reinvent yourself to whatever the situation dictates. Don't let this stress you out. Um, some of you are losing hope in a situation. You may feel like um, you keep thinking about something Something is plaguing you. I feel like some of you have something going on in your life right now that's causing sleepless nights and worrying like all day about it. You may even be losing your appetite. That's what I'm picking up here for some of you. All so maybe this could be about work or business. We have work, entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success. Some of you may be wanting to leave your job. You may be stressed out at your job. Wow, we have child services. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to. Someone reported you. All right, so someone here is dealing with something having to do with kids. You may be going to court for child support. You may be taking someone to court for child support or... Uh, neglect or something here either someone reported something on you and this is not going to be everyone's story so take it how it resonates but um either someone reported something on you or you reported something on someone having to do with the child you know what i'm picking up here that just came to mind that some of you don't want either you don't want the baby mom to have access to the child because of neglect or you don't want your baby father to have access to your child because of neglect neglect in some sort of way okay so we do have end of the month we have answers and we have karmic justice so something's going to go your way if you're going to court for child support you're going to get it. It's going to go your way and you may get more than you expected because we have abundance. Your arrival to abundance, financial um a financial blessing comes in. Money starts flowing in easily, so maybe you had to fight for child support. Cuz we have karmic justice that came right out with it. Wrongs made right, you will be vindicated, getting what you deserve. And we also have at the end of the month, the timing will be perfect. And then we have answers. Mystery reaches its resolution. Having answers, getting clarity, your problems will be solved. So if this is not about, well, keep in mind, this is not going to be everybody's story as far as like the child support thing. But for those of you who are resonating with that, uh, you will get answers. And it says something about the end of the month and abundance comes in. 
Now, if this is in another area of your life where you're waiting for some money to come in, you're waiting for something to get cleared up, having to do with money, if, if someone is going to court for something and they're old money, it's going to work out in your favor. So you may be feeling like this right now, okay? Like you're barely surviving, you're barely making it, but I see justice coming in for you. Some of you may be having car problems, or this may be something that comes up. Something that you're having. Oh, that card just jumped the deck. We have divine timing. Something you can't control. Learn to let go. Trust in divine timing and be patient. So some of you may be wanting to buy a new car or another car because you feel like you keep having car problems. The universe is saying, be patient. This is something that you can't control right now. But you will be able to control this situation. In a minute, some of you may be able to buy a better car or get the work done that you need done on your car. So I'm hearing hang in there. I'm also feeling like um, some of you had plans to do something and it's, and it's like the plans got disrupted. And I feel like it's a lesson in, in that. So if your plans got disrupted, I'm hearing the universe say, be happy that it did for whatever reason. And you may not see that right now, but you will be able to see it soon. You'll be able to realize like that plan um, backfired for a reason. All right, so we have the boss lady, possible promotion on the horizon, climbing the corporate ladder. Be careful. If this is about work for some of you, somebody don't want you to have this position. They don't want you to climb the ladder of success. We have the imposter. Check your circle and be careful what you say. Someone that you think you can trust can't be trusted. They may be, pre they may be pretending to be a friend, but they're really not. This came right out with um, the boss lady. Climbing the corporate ladder, gaining the respect of others, um, getting a position in another department, or maybe um, in a totally different company altogether. But someone is not happy for you. They may be acting like they're happy for you, but they're not. So watch who you tell your information to. All right, so we have healing. These cards flipped upside down, but I'm going to take them. All right, so we have adulting, taking charge of your life, putting in the work. Some of you are just working really hard right now. And I'm hearing don't give up. Somebody feels like they owe you an apology. Somebody is having a wake-up call about you. I didn't think that this reading was going to be about love because when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I didn't see much love here. And I was like, wow, that's a first. But here it is. Okay, some love is popping up. <laughs> We have apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So someone feels like they owe you an apology. But I feel like right now you have so much on your mind. You're like, what? I don't care. Like, I don't even care about your apology. Like, keep it. It's like I got other things going on. But someone is, is having a, a wake up call about you. And maybe this person feels like you're pulling away because you have all these things on your mind. But some of you are doing it because you're like, you. if you can't help me, then I don't need to be talking to you or dealing with you right now some of you feel like you're hitting a brick wall with something we have insurmountable obstacles blocked for your highest good you will be doing things differently so the universe wants you to do something different i don't know what this is though this could be just about anything but something is being blocked here um so keep that in mind i feel like whatever is being blocked if that doesn't come in for you, if that doesn't happen the way you want it to, there's something else lined up right behind it. So don't be, it's like be okay with the decision that the universe is making for you. And I know that's hard to hear because some of you may be like, no, I want what I want. But there is something that's being blocked for your highest good here. Whether this is love or whether this is a career or finances. And we have healing. Accepting to grow, self-care, making healthy choices. The universe is saying some of you need to um, allow yourself time to heal. 
I feel like you're going through something and you're like, I don't have time to heal. I have to get back out there. I have to work. I have to see this situation through. You know, I got a deadline or if I don't get this done, then, you know, something's going to fall apart or something's not going to work out the way I need it to. And the universe is saying, make sure that you're taking time for yourself. You know what I noticed? Sometimes that if you don't take time for yourself, like if your body is telling you, if you're mentally tired or your body is physically tired and you don't slow down, you will be made to slow down. Whether you are you get sick, right? And you have to slow down. It's like you can't get out the bed. Because, um, you know, stress really takes a toll on your body. And I feel like some of you are stressing about something, but you're like, I have to keep going. I can't like take a break. And the universe may be telling you like right now to take a break. My stage is burning like crazy. And normally it doesn't do that. Okay. Yeah, so some of you may be um, knowing that you need a break or you need just some time to yourself. And the universe is saying it's okay to take it. Even if it's a little bit. Even if it's like a, a bath where you're like, okay, I need to take this bath and I need to just sit in here and I need to just relax and get my thoughts together. It's something here or take some time to yourself if you can. I know some of you have a family and you have children and you, you feel like you can't take time off, but the universe is urging you to do it because you need to heal some aspect of your life. Some of you may be sick. You may have a cold and you may be like, I don't feel like getting up, going to work, but I have to go. But if you continue to go while you're feeling like this, you know, you may feel like when you get to work, like, I feel really bad. Like, I feel worse. So now I have to leave work and I have to, you know, come back home anyway because I can't stay at work. It, I won't be able to make it through the day or something like that. Okay. So let's get a couple more and then we're going to get some tarot. What messages do you have? Okay. Faster than you think. We have the Phoenix. And within a few weeks, something is coming in for you. It's like um, whatever stress and struggles that you're going through, it's going to be cleared up faster than you think. I'm also hearing um, have faith in the situation. Some of you are losing faith about a situation. It says you're undergoing a big transformation to reshape and change unhealthy habits. We also have secrets, moving in silence, hidden factors, lack of communication. Some of you are going through something, but you don't want to discuss it with people. You don't want anyone to know. So if someone is asking, you know, if you're okay, I feel like you're saying like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Like, you know, you're like, I don't want anyone to know what I'm going through. Some of you may be hiding something from family members because you know like they're not going to understand or they're going to ask a lot of questions and you don't feel like explaining. And we have stepping stone. Taking one step at a time. Don't rush the journey. And up in the air, not knowing where you stand. Some of you don't know where you stand with a situation, but the universe is saying within a few weeks, things are going to be figured out for you. And it's faster than you think it is. And I can't really pinpoint the situation. Unfortunately, I wish I could. But, you know, everyone is going through something different. I know for me, it felt like I have all these deadlines to meet. And I'm like, oh, my God, how can I meet all of these deadlines? And it's like they're coming up back to back. So, like, that's something that I've been stressing about. But I know it's going to be different for everyone. So I can't really pinpoint it. All right, so we have side hustle, thorns, and poor health. Yeah, some of you are getting a headache about something, but the universe is intervening. So you will get help in the situation. Um, there's something about money here. A painful sacrifice, hard choices to prevail. Life is testing you, suffering for a goal. Some of you had plans to do something with some money, and it fell through. Or you may feel like you have all of these things that you have to do, but you only have a little bit of money. And you're thinking about some sort of side hustle. You're like, what can I do on the side to bring in extra money? Some of you may be thinking about DoorDash. I don't know why that just came up, but some of you may be thinking about um, DoorDash or Ubering or, um, or Lyft. 
Because right now, whatever this is that you need to pay for, you feel like it's a thorn in your side. It won't go anywhere. For some of you, it could be taxes. You may feel like, okay, I thought I was going to get taxes back, but now I, I, I owe taxes. And, you know, I didn't think that this was going to happen. Make sure you're not neglecting your health because I feel like this is on your mind all day, every day. And it may even be uh, to some point debilitating, like giving you a migraine. And we have the waiting game. Expecting to hear news, putting your life on hold. Be prepared while you're waiting. Okay, so some of you are waiting to hear news from something, but the universe is saying, whatever this is for you, expect a miracle. Your angels are going to intervene. So the universe is going to help you out with the situation. You may feel like, okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this done. There's no way I'm going to be able to pay for this. I'm already inundated with all of these bills. But the universe is saying, have faith in this situation. I feel like at the last minute, right, when you think something isn't going to work out, it's going to work out for you. What did I just say? At the last minute, something is going to work out for you. We have the will. We have mountain and then we have the will of fortune. Obstacles and challenges, possible delays, patience is needed. And then we have fate, destiny, a turning point, things working in your favor, big changes are coming. So things are going to work out when you don't see, a, you know how you don't see a way out? You'd be like, this is not possible. This is not going to work out for me. It will. It's going to work out in some way where you least expect it. Someone may come in and help you or assist you. Or you may get like a letter in the mail where you can uh, get assistance from a specific place. Or you may be able to, I'm hearing, you may be able to like make payment arrangements on something. Yeah, we have miracles, busting out receipts. Okay. Make sure you keep in receipts, you know, for whatever this is, you may be required to fill out some paperwork. If this is something about getting assistance or getting help, a miracle is going to come through with this situation. Miracles are flowing into your life. Your angels are helping you resolve your challenges in ways that will surprise you. And then we have busting out the receipts. So just make sure that in case you need to fill out paperwork where you'd be like, okay, they're asking for specific dates of when this took place or when I had this or that. Just make sure that you can prove it because I feel like there is assistance available to you but they may need to know how much you make a month or you know um, how much you spend on something a month I don't know it's just something here because I'm seeing like dollar signs like money inside this um, magnifying glass like your your uh, income may be under scrutiny or they may check on your income to see if you um if you're eligible for something but there is help coming in okay for those of you who are struggling with that or with something so we have self-care putting yourself first making healthy choices and divorce and alimony some of you are worried about getting a divorce or you know someone that's getting a divorce or maybe this is on your mind we have terminated a marriage. Separation will be costly, complicated relationships. So some of you may feel like, okay, I need to take some time out for myself. Either you already got a divorce, whoever's resonating with this, or you may feel like this is where things are leading to. And we also have, you deserve it, slate for it, paid for it. It's time that you win. You are a worthy child of God. Okay, so you guys got a card here that's saying that you will win in the end. There's something here that you deserve that you're gonna get. So the universe is saying, don't keep stressing about it. We also have the healer. We have pain. And we have new doors are opening now and new opportunities are coming your way. So if you're going through some pain, some hurt and some sadness, just know that help is on the way. Whoever needs to hear this. And then we have the healer. Pay attention to your body. There's something that needs healing. Take time to rest and recover. Yeah, I feel like some of you are just stressed out. You're overworking or you may have had um, you may have had something that either put you in the hospital or you may have been sick. I know a lot of people are sick right now. From, they have like the stomach virus or flu or something. The universe is saying make sure you're taking care of yourself. Like that is showing up in this reading a lot. Okay. Get some tarot. 
that card just fell right on the floor. Give me one second so I can see what this is. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups that fell on the floor. Let's see, before I speak on that, let's see what else comes out with it. Let's hear what messages do you have? Oh, look at that. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Some of y'all got love coming in. Or someone's going to be showing you some love. So now we have love coming out in this reading. The Knight of Cup, the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, something's behind it. The King of Pentacles. For some of you, there could be an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn coming your direction. Now, this may be new. So some of you may meet an earth sign or this could be someone coming back in showing you a lot of love because we have the knight of wands so this person is going to be moving quick we also have sagittarius energy here as well for some reason i feel like this reading is all over the place today but maybe it's because a lot of people are just going through a lot of different things and the universe is just really really busy Look at that. And then we have the lovers. So I feel like right now you may be struggling. You may be going through something and then someone comes in and starts showing you all this love or you meet someone new and you'd be like, oh my God, like why, why right now? I got so much going on in my life. And then I meet somebody new because I feel like you're going to meet someone unexpectedly when you're like, okay, I'm trying to focus on something else. I don't even really care about love. But keep in mind, that's when you normally meet someone when you're not even thinking about it. That's when someone comes in. We have Gemini energy here. Twin flame energy. Spirit messages do we have for the collective? We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, some of you are holding on to many right now with the five of wands and the hangman. And the four of pentacles. You have some sort of struggle going on here. It could be a Pisces. You have some sort of conflict concerning money and you're like, okay, I don't want to spend anything. I just want to hold on to my money right now until I figure out what I'm going to do. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign with this ace of pentacles. There's going to be a fresh new start with this person. But for some of you, this has something to do with money. I don't know if this person is going, I don't know if you're going to help this King of Wands out by giving them money, loaning them money with the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you may have already done this. Or if this person is going to help you out in some sort of way, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everyone. But the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity, it's an offer. And it came right out with the King of Wands an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. somebody is yeah there's a leo here that's having a wake-up call about you or either you're a um for some of you it's a leo that's having a wake-up call about you and for others of you you're a scorpio dealing with the leo and with this three of wands you guys are both waiting on each other to try to figure out something about the situation like where this is going I feel like there is a lot of holding back. We have the hermit. We have withdrawal. Just thinking things through. I don't know why I'm seeing this um, in a couple of different ways here. So either you're dealing with a Leo and this person is having a wake up call about you and they're waiting to hear from you with this three of wands to try to see where this is going to go or you are Scorpio dealing with the Leo. We also have Virgo energy here as well. But I'm picking up the energy here with this hermit. Um, some of you are trying to figure out how you're going to move forward with something with someone or if you're going to move forward with this person at all. I don't know why um i feel like some of you are going to get back on track with somebody because the six of wands is at the bottom of the deck so there's going to be victory and success with the situation somebody may even come in to help you or talk to you about something because the six of cups is right behind it and this definitely has something to do with some money with the five of pentacles 
I feel like somebody is going to um, offer you help. If you need help with something, somebody is going to offer you that help. It may even shock you. Because you may feel like, okay, this person doesn't ever um, offer to help. Like they've never offered to help in the past. But they're going to see that you're stressed out about something. You're having difficulties. So this is either someone helping you out or this is you helping someone else out. Someone may come back in and tell you that they need your help. And this may be someone who even left you out in the cold. I feel like some of you are going to be giving someone some grace against your better judgment. You may be like, no, I don't want to, you know, maybe in the past you'd be like, I don't want to help this person. They didn't deserve it. And it's like they come in, they ask for your help and you're like, okay. Yeah, there's something here where I feel like somebody is sneaking back in after, um, Yep, we got the Wheel of Fortune again. So your Wheel of Fortune came up twice here. A turning point right when the train comes in. Okay. Confirmation. Help is on the way. That train always comes on time, don't it? Oh, that card almost fell out of my hand. Um, so we have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords. There's something on your mind. It's either, for some of you, this could be love. Where someone is sneaking back in towards you, but you don't know what you're going to do with the situation. So you're going to be thinking this through because this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. But they may come in and offer help or offer some type of emotion. This could even be emotional help where you guys sit down and talk about something and sort of figure it out. Like put your heads together and figure out how to make something work or how to get through something. And the will of fortune is here. So this change that is coming in is for the better. This person is going to be able to provide some assistance or this is love. And there are some changes coming in with whoever this is. They're sneaking back in. You don't know if you're going to take this person back because they betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back several times. Like you may have felt like this is over. But with the will of fortune being here, the universe is saying, there's definitely changes. This is fate. This is destiny. This is something that is meant to be. It's a turn for the, you know, a change for the better. And it was unpredictable, like you didn't see it coming. And it could be with a, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is fixed signs. A Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. So we have the three of cups, the eight of wands. You're about to hear from someone with the nine of cups, the eight of wands, and the three of cups. This is somebody coming back in, wanting to um, support you in some sort of way. Also, the three of cups is a celebration. Some of you may be going to a party or you may be celebrating someone's birthday. And you may see somebody there. I feel like this is very specific, very specific, where you may see this person. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a minute, and then they show up where you're going. They may have some sort of invite. Maybe you know the same people, or you know that they're, they usually be there. If this is a club or a lounge or something, but you're going to be able to talk to this person. It's going to make you happy in the end with the Nine of Cups. I feel like there was a lot of slow movement here, and it was someone holding back from you. With the Knight of Pentacles and the High Priestess, we have Pisces energy here. Yeah, something gets worked out with the Three of Pentacles. You guys are going to compromise with someone who was holding back from you. Things are going to actually work out. Sorry, guys, if this reading seems like it's all over the place. But, you know, I can only tell you what I see here that's coming out. And it just seems like it's um, picking up a lot. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. If you're a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, somebody has a family situation here with the Ten of Pentacles. And they've been pulling away from you because of it. But you're going to hear from this person with the Page of Pentacles. There's some sort of offer 
coming from this person an offer to talk or get things back on track but i feel like because your back is turned you don't see that coming in you may even be like oh i'm done with that situation i don't even care about this person but i feel like they were um holding back from you and they weren't saying anything so you don't know where you stood with them Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups, the Temperance, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Some of you may be like, I don't care if this person comes back in. Because <laughs> we have the Page of Wands here. So there is a message coming from possibly a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like you were waiting to hear from this person. But when you hear from them, you may still be very defensive ready to stand your ground about something still in fight mode yeah here come the train again <laughs> i'm like wait how many trains is gonna go by i just heard the train again um with the seven of cups here though i feel like this is something that you're gonna be like i gotta think long and hard about whether i want to come out of survivor mode because you feel safe um holding back from this person you feel like if you let your guard down that um they may try to play you again or they may you know they may feel like it's okay what they did or what they said. I do see happiness at the end, though, with the Ten of Cups. This may be someone who actually um, genuinely love you, but you're like, okay, I, I can't trust them, though. I feel like this is someone here who may disappoint you a lot. Let's get one more. Right, give me one more. All right, so we have the sun. And we have the hierophant. Of the four of wands. Some of you, this is about a marriage. Look at this. Okay, we're going to take them all. Yep, because look at it. Some of you, this has something. Some of you are married to this person with the hierophant, the four of wands, and the empress. Could be a Leo that you're married to or a Taurus. There may be something here that gets worked out. We also have the King of Swords, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. I feel like you experience a lot of hurt and disappointment behind this person. This is someone who has a lot of making up to do. This person may come in telling you like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to fix this situation. And for those of you where it's not a marriage, because I see marriage here clear as day. So for some of you, it's definitely a marriage. The Empress, the Four of Wands, and the Hierophant. That looks like marriage right there. Um, but for those of you who are not in a marriage and you're just in a relationship, with this Queen of Pentacles, you could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, dealing with a King of Swords here, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. And with the Sun card being here, there are happier days for you and this person that are approaching. I just feel like you don't, you may not see it in that way because it's so much that has, has happened here with the three of swords. This could be about a third party situation where this person has let you down and it's causing you to feel some type of way. There's a lot of arguments and, you know, a lot of stormy times between you and this person. But what I will say here is because of the nine of swords is showing up, this is somebody who's thinking about you and the situation and you don't even know it. So you may feel like they don't care, but they are. It's bothering them as much as it's bothering you. And I feel like this person thinks about you a lot at night. It hits them the most. They're very troubled by something here. It's like um, whatever they did to you, I feel like it's haunting them or it's... um. It's bothering their conscience. Yeah. It's like it's something on their conscience that's bothering them that they may have done to you. I feel like this person wants to make it up with make it up to you. So we do have the sun here. So I do see brighter days, happier times coming in with this person if you accept them back. But some of you may be like, nah, I don't want to get somebody else to do it. <laughs> like, no, I'm good on this person. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.